Kink Live at the Bing Lounge. Kink Live at the Bing Lounge with the Bodines. Thank you guys for coming in. Appreciate you coming back. Glad to be here. It's a, it's a good thing having you in the Bing Lounge. It is. It's it nice is. to be here. We reach a lot of people this way. Not just yeah. you folks here, but, you know, through the airwaves. Yeah. A um, few questions for you. I've been a fan for years, and I kind of feel stupid not knowing this, but where would the name the Bodines come from? I've never thought to even ask. <laughs> You're the only one. <laughs> I know. I know. Please help me not be clueless. Well, this is the true story. Um, our original drummer, Guy Hoffman, was in a band long ago called the Haskells. You know, and of course you think of Eddie Haskell, right? At least people our age do. You know, and, um, and so I was thinking, gee, what's another name that maybe sounds cool and has that familiar ring? And I was just... You know, thinking about it, and then I came up with uh, Bodine. It's like, you know, I mean, people thought of Jethro Bodine, but Bodine, it was just, okay. a, it was just the way it sounded to me that really was appealing. I thought it, for some reason, it just rang, Bodine. It just sounded good. Good. I feel much better now, knowing that. I really do. Um, I've been onto you guys for a long time, and that's why I feel stupid about not knowing that uh, question. But um, I think it was '86. Your album, Outside Looking In, was when I first kind of clued into you guys and then you um in 87 you did in 88 you did some dates for you to open up for the joshua tree so how was that as an experience it was awesome <laughs> <laughs> i mean those are big stadiums yeah. it was bc place where i saw you guys in it los lobos truly a blast you know i mean they couldn't have been more accommodating and helpful to us and stuff and i think they were genuinely fans of the music which is is great but um you know, from watching big time music happen from behind the scenes is just like, wow, it's truly a machine going on here. Um, I think, you know, our best nights of performing were their best nights. We, they're, they're a band very much like that. So I, I thought it worked really well together. And for, you know, when you're a kid growing up playing arenas, it's just kind of a dream come through thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, you hear horror stories about, you know, bands opening for other bands being treated you right. know, poorly and not getting to use the whole PA and stuff like that. But it was nothing like that. They were, like Kurt said, very accommodating and very, very nice people. Good. Very professional. Very good. Um, you've worked with some great producers, too. You were uh, on to T-Bone Burnett before a lot of people were. Um, he came on board real early in your career. Um, you've also worked with Jerry Harrison of the Talking Heads and David Z. Um, working with and without a producer, how does it affect your music? And is one favorable over the other? Um, you know, we were a type of band that kind of knew what we wanted to do. So I don't think it's absolutely required for us to have one, but when you have access to someone like T-Bone, it's, it's a wonderful thing, and, it's, and it helps your project in every way because he doesn't... Uh, I think he, you know, a good producer can... If, if someone doesn't have an idea of what they want, they right. can really help bring that to the surface. But even a person like T-Bone, if you do have an... He helps you still with that, still kind of reach to higher heights and or stay something. True to what you're and doing. his musical knowledge is just always helpful, too. And, and he got... A, you know, his sense of humor is very much like ours, so we got on really great together. Great. Great. Uh, the new album I love, um, Indigo Dreams, has just been released. And uh, if you'd like to hear some songs from it, if you'd like to play some more. Bodine's Kink Live at the Bing Lounge. Thank you. 